Look at him. It's Starmie from Pokemon. Where's Misty, bruh? What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So, if you remember a few videos back when I did the Barbus video, I had mentioned at the beginning that that dungeon was one of two unique locations in the game that has human uh, enemy variation NPCs. Well, this is the second one. It's called the Shackled Canyon, and it's the prerequisite to uh, another area called Lair of the Eyeless, which is a boss fight for the boss, Raze. This is actually a pretty tough place to go through in my opinion if you've never done it before because it's very easy to get overwhelmed by these individuals but we'll get to that uh later on at the very end of the video as always i'm going to show you exactly what you can get by defeating this boss but for now let's go through this dungeon so you can see what kind of enemy variations there is and then ultimately go into the layer of eyeless and defeat the boss called Raze. so with that being said let's get to it Alrighty, so first things first, as you can see, this whole dungeon period is like unique. But as you can see, there's they're human. There is dogs too, so be careful. <laughs> Those guys literally catch me off guard all the time. But if you can tell, they're all rem uh uh, remotely close to each other, so it's very easy for you to meet somebody and And then get overwhelmed Those guys shoot radiation at you by the way, so you got to be careful You go ahead and take everybody out Goodbye I, Did I is that everybody already? Oh no, this place is huge. If you, you can tell by the mini map. Let's go ahead and stake to the outside. What's up, Poochie? Get some radiation stick. He just seriously said, whoa, it's over. But I try again there, bruh. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, and I ain't singing. Come on, Bald McGee. So yeah, this place... This place could definitely be very overwhelming to people who uh, are newer to the game that haven't been... Uh, I guess you could say like they haven't leveled up very much their traits. Whoa, that guy's getting chased. Ah! That was terrible aiming. My Fortnite skills are are betraying me. Oh, we're at the end already. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, you thought. You're so cute. We're not getting chased, are we? All right, well, let's go ahead and go into the layer of the eyeless. All right, so as you can see, you can actually see the fog in the back. It's actually a very big fog wall. But on the top left in a second right there, it says layer of the eyeless. This is where you fight rays. It's a pretty cool and very unique boss, by the way. Which you'll see in a second. Look at him. It's Starmie. From Pokemon. Where's Misty, bruh? Nah, you ain't going nowhere, bruh. He juked my thing. That bastard, come back. I need to talk to you. We need to have a very serious conversation here, Raze. Ah! I hate those things, man. They blow up, they irradiate the hell out of you. Where are you at, bruh? He likes to go inside his little pool and just hide when he takes a certain amount of damage. There he goes. 
He's pretty easy overall, though, to be honest. And he will burn the shit out of you. Go away. I'm burning. I don't care. Goodbye. So that's raised. With that being said, let's definitely go ahead and go back to War 13 so I can show you exactly what you get by defeating Raze. So by defeating Raze, the boss that we just fought right now, he gives you a crafting material called the Sentinel Shard. And essentially what that does is that if you bring it over uh, to War 13, you're able to craft a weapon mod called Beckon, which you can see right here, right now. Uh... And essentially what that does is that it allows you to summon one of these skulls, the Wasteland Skulls. I call them summon uh, Lost Souls from Doom because they're very, very similar. Uh, but nonetheless, these guys are very, very good and very useful uh, if you're a summoner build. Uh, because they actually do pack a pretty good punch for the amount of time that they last, obviously. And obviously if you have the... the um, what, uh, what is it called? The um, the Soul Anchor? They're able to stay out for 50% longer and their increased uh, their damage is basically... Your damage is increased for every single one that's out there. So overall, I think it's a pretty good weapon mod. I actually have used it quite a lot before. As I've told you before, my two builds are a summoner build and a DPS gunslinger type build, which is what this main character is. But... Uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you're like this video, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help the channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.